does tone matter when discussing relationship topics with women? Now, so with this one, guys, tone only matters if you actually care about the person that you're giving advice to. On panels and on shows, YouTube shows and social media, hell no, tone don't matter. I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm not going to argue with you. If you think it applies to you and you get pissed off, good. I'm not going to sit there and argue with you about my tone or whatever it is. I don't care. And the funny thing is, when women say that, hey, it's not what you said, it's how you say it, they heard everything that you said. If they didn't, then they wouldn't be mad. So they get it. They were able to process exactly what you said. They didn't like it. So they're using the tone excuse as an example. So that's why when I hear women say, it's not how you, you know, what you said is how you say it. The only thing that I heard is that you understood what I said. It applies to you and that pissed you off. So now you're looking for something to deflect. And in that right, I don't care. I don't, me personally, I don't care about tone, tone police and all that type of stuff because I'm not on a show where I have to engage and, and argue with these women. I don't care. And I'm glad that Kevin Samuels told women, yeah, I, you know, I don't care about how you feel about my tone. Me, I just don't engage. Whatever I have to say, I'm going to say it and I'm going to leave it at that. Because trust and believe that woman will go home, she will process it, get out of her emotions, and she'll think about it. Why the hell you think it's so easy for married women to be in these RP spaces or these men conversation spaces because none of the stuff that men are talking about applies to them now because they're married. They could be in these spaces, happy, talking. You you see these panel shows, the women that are married, they always kind of side with the men because they don't have any issues. They're married. So that's why it's always funny to me because they have the ultimate trump card when they're having these discussions with single women. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to use it against the single women, but it gives them an air of calmness when they're on these panel shows and men are explaining how women are. Y'all got to watch that. It's very funny. I like to watch married women on these panels, the ones that I do watch, where they just kind of relax. They agree with the men. And the ones that have the most issues are the single women, the overweight women, the unattractive women, the women with multiple kids, they're the ones that tend to get upset. That's why I used to hear Kevin Samuels all the time say that a lot of people who watch the show were married women. And there's a reason for that. None of the stuff applies to them. <laughs> and they love it. They love having that over other women. I used to see it on multiple live streams when I used to watch uh, certain panel shows. The woman, you know, well, she's the only one married here. Do yourself a favor and, and watch how married women talk on these panels. It's, it's just like a they're on their high horse. You know, none of this applies to me. I'm going to go back and cook for my husband. Oh, you guys, I have to get out of here a little bit early. My husband just came back. I got to make sure I tend to him. <laughs> it's so funny. They be sitting up on their high horse while these single women who got kids and buck rules running around, they be pissed off and the dudes be telling them the truth and they don't like it. It's your tone. But the married women, they just sitting back. You know what? I agree with the men. You know, <laughs> women are petty as hell, and it's so funny. What they was it? Um, was it called? No, it's not petty. Shade, shade. They uh, you know, it's subtle shade where they <laughs> married women. It's hilarious. Oh my goodness.